it. Don't be shy. Jolene can't wait to meet you for a trailer park Christmas. The trailer park way with a brand new recipe every day. Sending videos from her trailer. She's Jolene Sugar Baker. She is Jolene Sugar Baker. Come and spend the holidays the trailer park the trailer way. Park Merry trailer park Merry Christmas. Trailer park Christmas. Merry trailer park Christmas. Hooray! Well, hi there, trailer park fans. It's Jolene Sugar Baker, the trailer park queen. And welcome to the Trailer Park Test Kitchen. And welcome to Trailer Park Christmas 2018, where I'm showing you how the Trailer Park celebrates the holiday. Well, you should have downloaded and printed out the calendar on TrailerParkChristmas.com so you can follow along because I've got a video every day until the 25th. Yes, that's right. I'm celebrating the holidays with you and showing you some great recipes and some crafts. And I see today that it's another favorite. It's for the love of chocolate. Yes, that's right. I'm going to show you an easy chocolate recipe. It's my easy a brownie recipe that I've been fixing, I don't know, for the longest time. It's one that you can fix up with your favorite favorite kind of extracts or maybe with your favorite ingredients. We're going to talk about that soon, but it's my easy brown recipe. It's great for making gifts um, with it too. I'm going to show you up next on Trailer Park Christmas 2018. I'll be right back. Welcome back. Making the chocolate brownies is really simple and today I'm going to mix it by hand because I know a lot of you don't have a stand mixer and this one's really simple so I've got a mixing bowl here. What I have here is one cup of sugar. I'm just going to dump it right here in the bowl. Then I've got, this is a half cup of oil. Now you could probably use butter but this is probably already in your actual cabinet so I'm going to put that right there in the bowl. I'm going to mix this around so that I've got kind of like a, a well-mixed mixture here. So I'll check back with you in just a moment. Next up, I'm going to add two eggs to it. And I like to use brown eggs. I just think they taste better, especially when they're fried. Don't tell my heart doctor that yet because you're really not supposed to do that. But I do like it over medium, if you will. Uh, but I'm going to put that on in there. And now I'm going to mix that around. Make sure that you don't have shells. I'm just going to poke it out there. There we go. And now we're going to mix it around and I'll check back with you in just a moment. Now to this mixture, I'm going to add 1 4 teaspoon of baking powder. Now you could probably have sifted it in with the other dry ingredients, but I don't have time for that and it just turns out just right. And I've got 1 4 teaspoon of regular table salt. That goes right on in there. Now I've got 1 3rd cup of unsweetened cocoa powder and this is in the baking section and I'm just going to dump that right on in there and make sure that that doesn't clump up while you're mixing around and this is actually half cup of flour and this goes right on in there just right on into the bowl and I'm going to mix this around. Now at this point I put a dash about a teaspoon of vanilla extract in mine. You could probably use another extract, like maybe even a orange or a peppermint for the holidays. Now at this point, you would also add maybe about a half cup of your favorite nuts, like walnuts or maybe even some um, almonds or something like that. But I would mix it all the way up again with the whatever additional. What would you do? Leave a comment about that. And I'm going to mix this up and check back with you in just a moment. Okay, I have a 9 inch baking pan and I used one of the foil pans because what I'm going to do is wrap it up real pretty and I can give it as a gift and I've sprayed it out. I've also preheated the oven to 350 degrees and look at that nice brownie batter that we have there. Nice and chocolatey and it smells so good too. And I'm just going to empty it out into this pan and I'll check back with you in just a moment. There we go. I've got the oven ready at 350 degrees and these are going to bake for about 20 to 25 minutes. So set your timer. And there you have it, my chocolate brownie. After today, you should be able to make your own brownie without using a mix and with ingredients that you probably have in your cabinet and you're probably going to get snowed in at some point and you can make brownies anytime and you can also use them as gifts. You can use the little foil pans and give them away. 
Now we talked about you could add chips or maybe some nuts or maybe even some extract to make them your own. What would you add? Leave a comment down at the bottom, but I am tired of talking about it because I just want to taste these brownies because these are my favorite and I just want to just, I, I'm going to eat the whole pan, I will tell you that. Mmm. It's got the crunchy part around the edge that is like the brownie. Mmm. That is the best part. And it's got the nice kind of fudgy middle and mmm. And it's super chocolatey and sweet and it's just so good. It would be good with even ice cream if you really want to go all the way with this brownie. And I'm be excited to hear about how you would change it out and make it your own and I hope you get a chance to make your own brownies, and we've got a lot more recipes with Trailer Park Christmas. You can go to TrailerParkChristmas.com with lots of other things there too, but there's a calendar there, and it tells you what's happening, because I see tomorrow, I've got a video every day until the 25th, that it says, Muffin Madness. I'm so excited um, to be sharing all these different types of recipes with you, and spending the holidays with you. I love hearing your stories, so be sure to let your friends know about Trailer Park Christmas, too. I will be back tomorrow. I'm going to finish these brownies. Mmm, those are so good, and I love spending the holidays with you, and I'll see you back real soon. Bye-bye. Slap on all your blue eyes shadow Watch out for that